Hello everyone. Welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn on submit click form validation. So I'll show you a few parameters. So based on that, you may validate very clearly your form. Let's begin by creating a simple HTML form. So the form is by writing form tag and uh, input tags for name and uh, input type text name or ID. You may take anything F name. Okay. So or else you may also add ID also email. So the input type email and the name is email. Just simply I'm giving two parameters over here. All right. Along with this two, I'm putting here like uh, input type. It is like uh, submit. Yeah, submit it is there. And the name also I'll give you like uh, uh, submit. And the value also I'll give like uh, submit. Value is enough. Name is not required. So I'm removing this name. Yes save this let's check here okay there is an alignment is required to make like uh, some break line i need to put like uh, some br line save it wow so this way i have a uh, created a simple form and uh, here i can write uh, two break lines let's check yes perfect now this is my form when i click this form when I click this form, I need to like validate these two are not empty. These two are not empty. So let's see how I'm going to validate it. For this, I am going to writing like a form name parameter it is like uh, some values I have to put here like uh, my small letter my reg or my login, whatever it the name you may put here. Okay. And uh, method we need to write like a post method you need to use either post method or get method anyone you may apply in php forms or any dynamic forms okay action if it's not mentioned any action it will be treated as self if you want to redirect some other places it may you may write action and uh, path of the file where it is required so now i need to write a specific functionality for on submit functionality to validate so where I can write this validation, yeah, either here below to the form or we may write here in, uh, by making a script tag. Yes, this is the latest browser I'm using now. So script tag I'm not applying here. So here I'll write. Okay, here what I'll write my function, function validation. My function name is validation. All right. So here uh, you may write validation or validate form anything, any name or my registration, any custom name you may write, not specific to this validation only. I'm doing the validation for the purpose only. I'm preparing the name of validation only. Okay. Now let X equal to like a document dot uh, forms like a forms of what is the form name what is the form name like uh, i'm used here my reg my registration form of my registration form of what is the my text box name this text box first text box name is controller name is f name so you need to write f name here so once it is done what you need value inside the uh, like uh, this value which we are entering here some value that value you require to validate what exactly you need the value which is entered inside the box you require so let x we have taken so we have one more parameter take a copy and paste here you may take like uh, next immediate letter it is y and the controller name is email dot value that's it two things are getting from the HTML element to the input values to here like um, 
javascript code now see now the game starts now if x equal to equal to if it is empty what i what i need to write here very simply i'll write very simply sorry not here yeah here i need to write uh, immediately it should be a l e r t alert mm, name must be must be name must be filled cannot be blank whatever it, uh, statement you want to write you can write here return uh, false return false now save it and run something submit it okay we have to call the validation function at here no so let's uh, call it uh, how i can call it on submit yes on submit event i need to call and uh, here return what is the function name validation yes oh sorry validate i o n validation yes return validation yes save this yeah save this and reload yes continue submit so return validation uh, anything else to be there here it should come like a uh, something function it is written validation validation it is written same like a uh, written uh, on submit on submit equal to written validation this validation only we have a written here yes r e t u r n it's a wrong message it's written return okay now save this and reload it submit wow name must be filled out name must be filled out how it is a, it's not allowing to submit the data so return validation this function i am calling while when on button click on button submission i am calling this function so one thing i have written so next thing how simply take a copy hit enter change the variable of uh, y and uh, email must be filled that's it email must be filled that's it over save it reload the form and submit name must be filled once it is done something it is entered submit email must be filled if it is entered the email submit you are like uh, here in html5 it is the email if you are type given automatically it will be accept only emails that validation is also done by yourself that a help the modern browsers will help in that way also while well, submit then only the form will acceptable very accurately so this is the on submission validations using javascript very simply using if else statements and uh, making how you are going to deal with the java html elements to controlling javascript you will be if you done so far lectures this is a very simple concept yours i hope so we'll catch you in the next lecture thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn how to validate input numeric values so let's check with by creating a simple form in html we'll see here form tag open and and now we are going to writing inside something phone number you may take and uh, here we need to write like uh, input type it's an art text or number also you can take directly okay text or number if you are taken like a, a number only it will accept the numbers in javascript entry point unexpectedly if any other things are not going to be permit okay so input type text i am taken very simply we have given 
so we need like uh, one uh, this one no uh, button so input type button name instead of name we can take a value as submit now I am going to implementing a function called num valid is num valid maybe you may think it about yourself okay let uh, we need to take the input from the let we need to take the input from the um, input text box so how we will take the number let x equal to document uh, document dot get element meant get element by name of this enum dot value okay so we will get so we are getting uh, this uh, l e r t we are getting this x the value or not we need to check like by putting this x inside this alert message save it and run the program let's check it like uh, oh action we need to write for the form so a c t i o n action post method and my form name also if required uh, form name like you may write uh, name equal to my val my form name and writing is in my val store now the number 12 i have entered submitted so here we need to call this function no yes on submit or on click also we can write so i'll check it with the on submit yeah on submit return uh, num valid this num valid function i need to call it save this reload the page if i enter 12 submit alert should become no so document that get element by name in um i have a specified uh, let me check with double quotes no number in um yes no okay save it le me and the element by name correct save it reload the page R E T U R N R E T U R N num valid function that's correct action post I have specified uh, <laughs> action is not post sorry me method method will use post okay if it is self not required for uh, not required for uh, okay so reload the page perfectly control f5 and uh, something you type so a l e r t l at x we are not getting so this is the string only we won't get so only x yeah document get element just i may take it like it's an id and um uh, document dot get element by id of num let's check now how uh, it will be treated now okay so the dot oh sorry 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 the terminator is required no the terminator is highly required no save it run the program so 2012 is the this id we have a given something return post on submit we have written 
so still what the mistake and like what the things we need to write here by id we are accepting let me check here i'll write another mode of this so let x equal to like a document dot uh, name of the function my val my form name this is okay and uh, by pressing the dot num is my like uh, name of the parameter dot value okay let's check now reload it something if i entered submit it's not taken Mm, let's change here it's a my form so the same form will be applied over here okay and uh, here it is name so reload the form no So let me verify. So let's check here. It's a button we have written uh, replace to submit. Everything will be done now. Submit. So submitting something says something. If I am given 23, we are receiving 23 as an alert. Yes. So all we have to make in a concentration which very much required. So once X is receiving which the data input of text box which are like uh, which we are receiving able to receiving like a uh, alert alert on X we are able to see okay now comment this line okay comment this line very simply there is a method called if is nan that's it is n a n if it is not a number of like uh, what is that n u m it is an x so if it is not a number what we will write what we will write in a message else statement we can prepare uh, written sorry yes written t r u e okay written true like uh, if not a number what will uh, convey the message to the user document dot get element by id of like uh, something uh, we need to convey the message to the user so with that id is i will put e r r o r i'll put it dot inner html that equal to um, custom message enter number in um only this error i made through here with uh, any span tag or p tag also we can write so id id that equal to E R R O R. Save it. Just check it now. Something if I am entering Q W. Uh, yeah, span tag we have to prepare here. Span I D to be prepared to get an error message. Okay, let's check with that uh, span tag. Where here I need to write S P A N yes span yes this span is going to be like uh, I D equal to E R R O R okay this message uh, copy yes done uh, yeah save it and reload the page successfully just submit yes let's see yes 
on submit you may observe here you are getting an error message like a span tag very clearly you are getting a message on fly and it's going on why because uh, so much uh, information i have added over here so it's happening i think so so if i am entering some number on submit we won't get anything if i am submitting some abcd on submit see something is happening like uh, on submit it is uh, immediately like uh, mm, displaying error and it's throwing away it shouldn't go why it is happening uh, in my browser uh, uh, see it's keep on running in the, in the wave only in the wave only we need to write the code okay doc element under return true else return true it is uh, not this one yes 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 here uh, we can do one thing return -E written false once it is uh, something is happening I am staying the screen written false if I write reload the page some number it's okay something else it's a number only got it so how simply uh, we can get the error messages control C break I'll put here save it reload the page yes ASD submit enter numbers only okay i hope you will create very clearly these lectures by validating of the number validations i'll catch you soon thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn login form validation so how simple it is we are looking we are going to validating a login form Let's see very simply how I am making this uh, form to login form like uh, instead of number I may put here it is in a name input type text and name it is like uh, name okay error let it be the same ID and uh, input it is in a submit should be there and password you may put like name or the login any name you may use okay input type password and a name is you, you can simply give the keywords like a password or PSD whatever at the keywords you may give save it and reload the page yeah name and password something is space is here okay I'm not concentrating on the design so let it be see the like a name and password and button button name it should be like a value like a, it may be registration form or login whatever it you may put here okay now let's see the alerts how we are accepting first here it is a name we need to switch yeah name dot value something something like it is a uh, like uh, let we can clarify with the name and uh, one more variable we have to like two parameters are there so second parameter it is a password PASSWRD password and here it is an uh, PASSWORD or password shortcut also you may write here clear so it's very clear now what I am trying to do in like uh, I just remove this code and uh, I'll write uh, again fresh code. So if if name equal to equal to empty or null if name equal to equal to empty or null uh, by putting our condition uh, name equal to equal to empty string when it is happened when it is happened should get an alert 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 of the message what the message name uh, must be uh, must be filled name must be filled uh, written written 
false if not filled by the name return to be false okay and the second condition else if else if else if password equal to equal to empty if password is also empty we can check it all right so uh, if uh, there is a no password also we can throw the error and i am verifying here to identifying the password dot length password dot length if it is below six characters if it is below six characters i um, let off um, password minimum six c h e r a c t e r s characters should be there what the message you want to put you can add over there okay false terminate now let's see by running this code num valid the function which is called two parameters we have written something if you want more you can write it reload the form and submit see name must be failed it's a throwing some error so something it is entered submit password minimum six characters login so only three i have given submit password minimum six characters if i am given more than that then only it will accept so in real time in real time by putting these are the server side not uh, server side it's a, these are the very purely client side validations these are the client side validations see based on that input html element id we are receiving the name we have inserted here so based on that we are receiving that values and we are going to be working here all right i think it's very simple and easy lecture i'll catch you in the next lecture thank you hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn chat gpt applying to creating a program of password length check using javascript yes this program i am asking to chat gpt to write a javascript password length check validation form with html and dom objects let's see here javascript password length validation form using html dom it is created clearly crystal clear so let's see a title for password length check validation and form within inside the body a form is created with parameters of password form label password and the type input it is in a type it is taken password directly and the id is password type is button it is like a submit now very clearly the script open tag and end tag it is created here now very clearly it is taken for password form get the password from the password input from the dom using dom objects we are going to constant keyword password from like document dot get element by id password from like this form what the password it's getting like a form we are getting and the second one is password input what the input it is given like a here it is in a password input what the user is going to be entering inside the text box now once the submit button it is given like here verifying like get the password and password input from the dom we are getting here and it is going to be assigned to this particular two variables now add event listener from the submission submission like uh, when the button is clicked user is uh, submitted for his password add event listener this event listener is raised on button of type submit function event it's coming and uh, prevent default prevent from the submissions so, like uh, when user is not entered any text so it won't entertain anything and uh, if a user is not click the button it won't give a proper response so the prevent defaults it's giving the on submission 
Next, immediately the password is like a this input dot value. What is the value here? It is directly here also you can give the value. And this directly this input uh, password input also you can use it. Yes, this customization when you know how to use these variables, how to get the DOM objects handling. Yes, you can customize your code and you can make it shortcuts. Now here it is in a, this password input that value which is going to be assigning this particular variable. Now simply decision making is added here. Charge bit is given password dot length less than eight. If it is late, password must be at least eight characters long. It is throwing an alert. This is the alert message it is throwing outside the browser. And if it is a password is above eight characters of length, this is the password that length it's directly will give the how many characters you have entered inside this test box. Where it is coming this test box? This is the test box. Where is this get document dot get element by ID? This password ID is this type input. The ID is type is password and ID is password. This text box it is coming to here and it is assigning to data is here this is coming to appending here now this password is validating like password dot length we are getting a characters how super easily the structure is framed so whenever you are creating a user registration form or login form you just simply apply this function this add event listener form also you can add it to your code so password is valid if it is above eight characters a code here is a handle valid password case that's it now just simply you can what i have explained here all the chat gpt is also explaining you a step-by-step -step process so now you just go here and take a copy of this code go back to your favorite coder or code editor or sublime text editor take a file password.html just I'm taking as an HTML page copy of this code right click just I'm not doing any manipulations here just right click open in browser just check it test four characters only I have given submit password must be at least eight characters how the alert is happened here with the JavaScript the DOM object how we are going to be controlling okay so just i'm giving four more characters the submit password is valid really i hope it's great practice it's great practice if you are given below to eight it it will throw you automatically an error and let's check let's check i just i need like uh, i'm giving like an uh, otp assume that any otp and just it's required for only four characters just simply four characters only maybe all the text all the passwords under all the text labels you can change it so the four password length characters are four only so you just go back to here save the file and reload just let me check it one two three four only i have given submit yes password is valid here you can give otp is valid that's it how business rule is changed you can utilize the same functionality in different different validation scenarios so hopefully if you are given three characters only again it will say that password length must be eight characters i'm not changed anything here what you need to do the error message here otp must be at least four characters over long only you have to change it so try to practice not only the length check validation for not only the password either otp characters mobile characters or pin code characters or any other where you have to check the length perfectly there you can apply the same real world of program which is given by chat gpt ai tool so learn the basics perfectly and how to use chat gpt learn it perfectly and apply quickly you will be make a master using javascript i'll see you in the next lecture thank you